very nice song. The meaning is very important. We want to explain the significance of this song to you this evening. So a song begins, Bhaja Harimana, that we should use our mind, fix our mind in the worship of Sri Nanda Nandana. Sri Nanda Nandana means Lord Sri Krishna, the one who gives pleasure to Nanda Maharaj. Sri Nanda Nanda, Krishna Bhagavan, I guess Sri Nanda 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 Maharaj of the Kingdom of the Kingdom of the Bhagavan, Sri Krishna Hill, Bhakti Dundi, Varvat and the Manade, Great Rika, Great Rika Vento. Lord Krishna, of course, we can say, well, he's also Devaki Nanda, but we're calling him Nanda Nanda, Nanda Maharaj, very dear to Krishna. Uh, Lord Krishna is one who gives pleasure to Nanda Maharaj because this is Krishna in Vrindavan, in his Vrindavan pastimes. He is taken care of by Nanda and his shoulders. And then the song says, Dullabhamana Vajjana Masatsangi, that it is very rare to get the human form of life. We know there's 8,400,000 different species of life, and only 4 like are human species. So, that if we get the association of the devotees, then we can cross over the ocean of material it's very rare to get human birth. It's even more rare to get association with the We see even here in Kuli, there's so many people, but how many people come to the temple? How many people come to chant the glories of the Lord? Very less. So people are not so much inclined to self-realization, they are only busy in their economic development. They're interested to develop their economic situation, but they're not interested to develop their spiritual situation. And then the song goes on to describe how people will accept so many difficult conditions just in order to improve their economic situation. That they will tolerate all the difficult conditions, the scorching heat, and the wind, and the rain, and the cold, all different conditions they will tolerate. And they will tolerate working for many wicked and miserly people. 
மனிதர்களிடமெல்லாம் பணி செய்வதற்கு அவர்கள் தயாராக இருக்கின்றார்கள் you have to tolerate working with them just for the sake of earning a livelihood ungalukkella theriyum ungalude pani idangalil eppadi patta karivithanamana konuramana manidargal ellam irukkindrargal nammude vaalvu aadarathai kondruvatharkaga nichayamaga avargal ellam sagithukondu dhaan vaalvikrom and to earn that livelihood the result of all that hard labor you earn some money and with that money you can get only some flickering happiness what is this kind of chapala sukha the flickering pleasure of the material ipadi tunbamana soonilai ellam sagithukonde adanal namakku kedaikkum sila varumanathinal minni marayum sila inbangalai dhaan nam anubavikkindrom so kripanna durajanna நாம் <laughs> they will accept so much austerity so many difficulties you have to go and study college and take so many examinations spend so much money in order to get some qualification to go and beg for a job from some company in the baudhiga inbathirkaga kadum davagalai ellam purigindrom kalvi ellam ipper kondirindrom இவ்வாறு பல இன்ப துன்பங்களுக்கு இடையில் தான் இந்த இன்பத்தை நாம் தேடுகின்றோம் கூறுகின்றார் நமக்கெல்லாம் நாயின் மனப்பாங்கு தான் இருக்கின்றது நாய்க்கு எப்போதுமே ஒரு முதலாளி வேண்டும் அவ்வாறுதான் நாமும் ஒரு முதலாளியின் கீழ் அடிமையாக செயல்பட ஆசைப்படுகின்றோம் நாய்கள் வீதிகளில் வீடு வீடாக அழைந்து எங்கு எனக்கு அடைக்கலம் கிடைக்கும் என்று பிரிகின்றன So in the same way we have to go and study in universities and colleges get some education and then after all that then you still have to go and beg door to door and plead to the big man my dear sir please give me employment i will be your good dog ivarudan palgalai kalagangalilum kandoorigalilum payindru vittu அதன் பிறகு வீதி வீதியாக திரிந்து எனக்கு ஓர் வேலை கொடுங்கள் நான் தங்களின் விசுவாச நாயாக இருக்கின்றேன் என்று கேட்கின்றோம் you always find there's some man there some secretary or some worker there and his job is to keep you away from the boss sir samayangale na niruvana urimayalargale theedi sendirukrom appozhudhu indha krishna unarai patri avargalukku therivippadharkaga nam sendum bodhu nammai ella thirupi anupuvadharkaga sila adhigarigal ange irupargal just like you go to the rich man's home and he has a sign beware of the dog and there will be some big dog there coming out of the house sala selvan dar veedigalai kichendum bodhu ange arikai padaga irukkum naaygal yaathirudai endru adhaal nammai angirundhu veliye vaithirukka avargal irukkirukkirargal 
still the same way you go into people's offices and you find that before you can meet the big man, the big boss, there's so many little people like dogs and their job is to bark and to chase you away. And so this is just like the doggish mentality. We have to go and beg people, please be kindly employ me in your service. I will work for you. I will serve you. So then the song, the song goes on to say, Edana Yovana Putra Harijana. The results of all your hard work, your money, is its value of the money is less and less as you go on. The value of the money is constantly reducing. We know Malaysian ring it, the value is reducing, right? Yeah. Became shrink it, not ring it. Right? It shrunk a bit. The value is not so big as it used to be. I remember I went to India. When I first went to India, there were 8 rupees to the US dollar. Now there's 80 rupees to the US dollar. India Rubai Yetu Rubai Ipodu or America Rubai ki India Rubai Pazinetu Rubai Gurkha. And the value of that dollar is also less. Everything is depreciating in value. Unmail of the American dollar in Madhiku Koda has friends go to that very interesting. You know yourself, very difficult to keep the money. The money becomes less and less. The expenses become more, the petrol becomes more, the coal on the highway becomes more, the education becomes more expensive, the food becomes more expensive. And so the value of our money is less and then you may say, well, I am a young man, but how long you are young? Very quickly you become poor. In the time, the wheel of time, the Kala Chakra, is continuously moving. As the sun rises and sets every day, then another day is gone, and we're nearer and nearer to giving up this body. Kala Chakra, Suryan Maraivadi, so our life, the money is reduced, our, our, our youth is also gone, we be quickly we become old, we didn't want to become old, but you cannot avoid it. You may say, oh well, I have my son. My son is here with me, I have my son. But son will also grow up. He will also go. He's not going to stay with you all your life. So, 
son will grow up, he will go marry probably and then have his own family, he will be busy with his own life. And in this way the son is gone. Son cannot save us. We know Ajamila had a son. He was calling for his son to save him from the Yamadus. Of course his son cannot do anything. So, all of these things, all the things which we have, all of the family members, relatives, none of them they can save us at the time of death. All of these things are so temporary, they are described they're like a drop of water on the leaf of the lotus petal. Right, the leaf of the lotus petal is it's a nice leaf and you can take your prasada from the lotus. It's waterproof. The banana leaf and the lotus leaf, they're both waterproof. You can put your prasada on it and you can eat nice prasada without any problem. So if a drop of water falls on the leaf of the lotus, then it simply rolls off that leaf back into the water. So all of the things which we acquire in this world, our home and our property and our family members, they are all just like drop of water on the petal of the lotus. The water falls back into the Therefore, what is the solution? What we have to do? We have to worship Lord Hari. And how to worship Lord Hari, that is described at the end of the song by the nine different varieties of Bhakti Yoga. Begins with hearing, just like Maharaj Pariksit was cursed to die. He had only seven days to live, but he spent his time hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. By hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam, he was able to fix his mind on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And at the end of the seven days, when Taksha, the snake bird, came to bite him, he was already in Samadhi. So the snake bird, Taksha, came and bit him and his body burst into flames. But Maharaj Pariksit had already departed from that world. He had already gone back to God. He had prepared himself by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. So 
But hearing is the first step of bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga tip mudal padi nilai khet padi. Whenever I hear this song, this this song, this bhajari mana, I think that this is about. It's like my life, you know. It's about, <laughs> it reminds me about my life, serving wicked and miserly people just for some flickering pleasure of the material world. இந்த பஜா ஒரே மட்டா என்ற பாடலை கேட்கும் பொழுதெல்லாம் இது எனது மனதிற்கு அறிமுறுத்துவதாக இருக்கின்றது எப்படி பல இன்னல்கள் எல்லாம் பட்டு இந்த ஜட உலகத்தை நாம் அனுபவிக்க நினைக்கின்றோம் அதிலிருந்து நாம் விடுபட்டிருக்க வேண்டும் என்ற மனப்பாங்கும் ஏற்படுகின்றது so that we get real benefit from what we hear ivarudan inda paadalgalai ella paadum bodhu idunude arthathai nam nanraga kekka vendum ipadi kekkadam moolamaga namakku nanmai undu now sometimes people hear and they don't understand at all what they are hearing but they still get benefit because the sound vibration is not material sila samayangalai கேட்பதில் உள்ள அர்த்தம் அவர்களுக்கு புரியாமல் இருக்கும் ஆனால் அதிலும் நன்மை உண்டு கேட்பதினால் நிச்சயமாக பலன் இருக்கின்றது இந்த புனித நாமம் கோலோகத்திலிருந்து வருகின்றது And when we chant the holy name, even though we may not understand anything about the holy name, we are benefited. In the Buddha name, we are the Bodhi ka mana dhanri. In the Buddha name, we are the Bhakti. 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 We all know you chant the holy name, even though you don't know anything about what you are chanting. You get great benefit. என்ன ஜபிக்கின்றோம் என்று தெரிவித்தாலும் கூட இந்த புனித நாமத்தை ஜபிக்கும் பொழுது நமக்கு நன்மை உண்டு ஐ மீ நோ ஆல்சோ एवरीथिंग இன் ரிலேஷன் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஆல்சோ ஹஸ் தி சேம் போட்டன்சி ஜஸ்ட் லைக் கிருஷ்ணா பிரசாதம் இட் இஸ் நாட் மெட்டீரியல் இட் இஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் அது போலவே கிருஷ்ணா பகவானின் தொடர்பான அனைத்துமே நமக்கு ஆன்மீகமானது உதாரணத்திற்கு கிருஷ்ணா பிரசாதம் and these flowers also which are offered to the deities they are also not material because it's all krishna's paraphernalia is prasada adu polave vikrahangalukku arpanikkapatta inda palarmaligalum kuda baudhigamanadandru nichayamaga aanmeegamanadhu we give great importance to books our family business is books distributing books because we know these books are not ordinary books adhe polave inda puthaga vinayogam enbadhu mikka mukkiyamanadhu idu nammudaiya kudumba vanigam inda puthaga vinayogam iduvum aanmeegamanadhu and if people just get a book and they just read one line the life can be changed inda puthagangalai vaangi ore ore variyai padippadan moolamaga kuda avargaludaiya vaalkai aatramadaiyum i had the experience also i got book i got a book and i didn't really understand it but i was trying to read it and it was telling me to chant hari krishna and i began to chant enakku manda anubavam undu puttalathai mudal mudalaga vaangi adai paarthe hari krishna javam seiya vendum endru irundathu adai naan pinpatri kondhen and by chanting then i thought i have to go to sampo i have to go and find out more you are jabit konde naan aalayathukku chella vendum idai patri adhigamaga therindu kolla vendum endra ennam ellam yerpattathu and so i started to go to sampo i got prasadam and i became attached to prasadam adan peragu naan aalayathukku chendren ange prasadam eduthukonde anda prasadathin meedu enakku avarchi yerpattathu the krishna prasadam comes in many different ways not only in food but also the incense and the flowers 
கிருஷ்ண பிரசாதம் என்பது உணவு வழியாக மட்டும் வருவதன்று ஊதுபத்தி மலர்கள் இவற்றின் ரூபமாக கூட வருகின்றன இந்த கிருஷ்ண பிரசாதம் என்பது கருணையாக கூட வரலாம் அந்த கருணை நம்மிடமிருந்து சில விஷயங்களை பறித்துக் கொள்ளும் So we have to learn that the solution to all of the problems is to take shelter of the process of devotion of self. Bhakti tondu daan inda prachanegalukkellam theervu enbadai naam purindu kolla vendum. Beginning with hearing and then when we hear nicely then we can go on to chanting also. Ivayalla kedpadil irundhu aarambikkirathu adan peragu naam japam seivadil idupada vendum. First we hear the mantra, then we chant. We repeat it. When we in the mantra day, naam get kindro, adam pirag naam adai jabi kindro. Whatever we hear, there's we always have the tendency to repeat it. When we naam naam get kindro mo, adai mari badi kuro tanmai namul jabi kindro de. I was telling the devotees there was this one young child in Bangalore. The young child, <coughs> six years old. The parents were. They taught it to. They, they taught the child, the little boy, to chant the Vishnu Sahasrana. When the little boy was born, there was a little boy who was born with the Vishnu Sahasrana as a baby. He was a little boy who was born. And the child could recite the whole Vishnu Sahasrana without looking, without he could not read. He just, but he could. He memorized the whole Vishnu Sahasrana. புரியாமல்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்ிங்
விக்கிரகங்களை நாம் வழிபாடு செய்யும் பொழுது முதலில் அவருடைய தாமரை பாதங்களையே வழிபடுகின்றோம் we can also worship tosi devi because tosi maharani they always place the leaves that offer the to the lotus feet nam tosi maharani ayum valipadukindro enendral tosi maharani ay eppozhudum bhagavanin kamala paadangalai vaithirpaargal the leaves of tosi are only placed on the feet of the supreme lord we don't put the tosi leaves on anyone else's feet if you put them on someone else's feet that's an offense tosi maharani ilaigalai paramapurusha bhagavanin paadangalil mattume padikka vendum matra yaravathu paadangalai tosi maharani ilaigalai padithal adu maabarum aparadhamagum and we can also serve the lotus feet of the lord by going to the holy places and performing the parikramas from the holy place பரமபுருஷ பகவானின் தாமரை பாதங்களை வழிபட வேண்டும் என்றால் நாம் புனித ஸ்தலங்களுக்கு சென்று அங்கே யாத்திரைகள் மேற்கொள்ள வேண்டும் நார் பாண்ட அச்சாரியா இஸ் கால் பிரபு பாதா which means he is the master who is at the lotus feet of the lord நமது ஸ்தாபக ஆச்சாரியர் பிரபு பாதர் என்று அழைக்கப்படுகின்றார் ஏனென்றால் பரமபுருஷ பகவானின் பாதங்களில் அடைக்கலம் பெற்றவர் So by serving Sri Prabhupada, you can also perform Pada Seva. Sri Prabhupada, I will be able to do more and more. Now, Pada Seva, I will be able to do more and more. And service to Sri Prabhupada is done by serving the Krishna Consciousness Movement, which is Sri Prabhupada's own society. Sri Prabhupada, I will be able to serve Sri Prabhupada. Our Guru Vakya in the Krishna Bhakti Yatra Trito, I will be able to do more. then comes archana the worship of the deity just like you can see here we have the deities varni thai then krishna balaram then radha and krishna so we worship the deities worship of the deity requires mantras you have to have guru to worship the deity properly If you don't have initiation from guru you not qualify to worship the deity அதன் பிறகு அர்ச்சனம் வருகின்றது விக்கிரக வழிபாடு இங்கே நாம் காணுகின்றோம் கௌரவி தாய் விக்கிரகம் ராதாகிருஷ்ணர் விக்கிரகம் எல்லாம் காணுகின்றோம் இவர்களை வழிபடுவதற்கு மந்திரங்கள் தேவைப்படுகின்றன இந்த மந்திரங்களை நாம் குருவிடமிருந்து பெற வேண்டும் குருவிடமிருந்து தீட்சை பெற்று இந்த மந்திரங்களை பெற்று நாம் இந்த விக்கிரக வழிபாடுகளை நடத்தலாம் and you tell the same who you worship this deity samayangalil guru maargal idu vikrahangalai bhaktargalukku alithu indha vikrahangalai valipadukal endrom kuruvargal but shri prabhupada liked the devotees not to worship the own deity he liked them to come to the temple and worship in the temple anal shri la prabhupada bhaktargal sonda vikrahangalai vaithirpadai ukkuvikkavillai ஆலயங்களுக்கு வந்து விக்கிரகங்களை வழிபடுமாறு அவர் பணித்திருந்தார் the worship will be better you keep the better standard if you do it together in the society you try to do it at home it won't be so good இந்த இயக்கத்தில் ஆலயங்களில் செய்யப்படுகின்ற இந்த விக்கிரக வழிபாடு தரம் உயர்ந்ததாக இருக்கும் அந்த அனைவரும் சேர்ந்து செய்வதனால் தனியாக வீட்டில் விக்கிரக வழிபாடு செய்வது தரம் குறைவாகவே இருக்கும் and then after archana comes vandana offering prayers just like we offer prayers as devotees every day we are singing many different songs which are prayers to the lord archana thirku piragu vandana merkindrathu adhavadhu bhagavanin pugalai paaduvathu nam anadinamo bhagavanin pugalai paadikondirukkindro of course we are always singing hari krishna and hari krishna mantra is a prayer it is both a prayer and it's a answer it's a, a prayer to the lord with a request and it's also the answer to our prayer hari krishna mantra devipadam prarthanai dan and the prarthanai bhagavanidam nam vinnapam seivadam adodu namakku kidaikkum badilum adu dan there was this one man an american 
gospel singer. It means gospel, he was a Christian and he used to sing songs about God. So he came to Prabhupada and he was asking Prabhupada, he was saying, Swamiji, what to pray for? Because although he was a preacher, he didn't know what we should be praying for. One of America, our gospel man, Christopher Samaya, Padakuri, Padakuri, our Villa Pro Paradam Mande, Padamukan Kerkevendi, and they did it in the Geta. He could understand the things people usually pray for was not really proper. The things people usually pray for, they usually pray, give me a, a new house, give me a bigger car, give me, a, you know, a better wife or a better husband, give me more, you know, give me more material pleasures. So this man understood these kind of prayers are not good. If you just bring to God, give me a nice house and a wife and a home by the sea, this is not what we should be asking God for. But he didn't know what to ask for. What should we be asking for? So it was a mystery to him what to ask God for. But to Srila Prabhupada it was a mystery. Prabhupada knew exactly what we have. Right? The devotees were constantly praying to the Lord, please engage me in your service. I have no desire for wealth or beautiful women or followers or praise. I simply want your devotional service, birth after birth. But this is Lord Chaitanya's prayer in the Shikshastika, the fourth verse. A devotee of Krishna doesn't pray to the Lord for material things. We would simply want to get devotional service. And devotee doesn't even ask for liberation. He said, birth after birth, let me be engaged in your service. So some people are asking for material things, other people are asking for liberation, but the devotee doesn't have any material things. So in Chaitanya Charitamrita it is written, Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Kami Sakale Ashanta Krishna Bhakti Niskam Saisha Shanta That even one has all material desires or desires liberation or desires yoga perfection, whatever, he, he will never be peaceful. Doesn't mean all these different desires will never make him peaceful. But one who is a devotee, Krishna Bhakta Nishkam, Sai devotee has no material desire. He is peaceful. Because he simply wants devotion of self. 
பக்தருக்கு மட்டுமே அந்த அமைதி கிடைக்கும் இதுதான் ஒரு பக்தரின் பிரார்த்தனை and the boat is always praying like that my lord please engage me in your service பக்தர்கள் இப்படி தான் பகவானிடம் வேண்டுகின்றனர் தயவு செய்து தங்களுடைய பக்தி தொண்டில் எங்களை ஈடுபடுத்துங்கள் and because the boat is praying like that that is the answer to the prayers because by praying to the lord he is being engaged in the service of krishna இவ்வாறு பகவானிடம் வேண்டுவதனால் நிச்சயமாக அந்த பிரார்த்தனைக்கு பதில் உண்டு அதன் மூலமாக பகவான் நிச்சயமாக அவர்களை அவரது தொண்டில் இணைநிறுத்தி வைத்திருக்கின்றார் அதனால் தான் இந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண மகாமந்திர ஜபம் என்பது நமது பிரார்த்தனை அதே நேரத்தில் அந்த பிரார்த்தனைக்கான பதிலும் கூட so the both his lips are always decorated with prayers to lord krishna bhaktargalin udadugal enneramo krishna bhagavanin prarthanayal alangarikkapattirukkindrana and then by offering prayers then the next type of devotional service is called dashya to be engaged in the service of the lord அதன் பிறகு தாசியம் வருகின்றது பகவானின் சேவையை ஈடுபட்டிருந்தது பிரார்த்தனையில் ஈடுபட்ட ஒரு மாபெரும் சிறந்த பக்தர் அக்ரூரர் அக்ரூரா வாஸ் அங்கோ கிருஷ்ணன் comes as to go to vrindavan bring krishna and balaram to mathura akrura krishna balaram irukke maaman murai avargalai veendum maduravukku alaithi senbadarkaga akrura vrindavanathukku kamsanal anubapatta and it said when he comes to send akrura to go to vrindavan to get krishna and balaram he gave him a new chariot he didn't give him an old chariot he gave him a new chariot take this new chariot and you go and bring these two brothers krishna and balaram krishnarayum balaramarayum vrindavanathilirundu maduravarku alaithu vandharukkaga kamsan puttam pudhiya radathai akrurarukku valanginar idai kondu poi krishnarayum balaramarayum alaithu vaayittu of course kams was arranging he thought he was arranging for the death of krishna and balaram by bringing them to mathura but actually it resulted in the death of kams kamsan krishnarayum balaramarayum kolvadarkagave indha kittathai theetinar aanal irudhiyil avarkke andha maranam nerthathu so although akrura went to vrindavan on behalf of kamsa akrura was actually a great devotee and when he got to vrindavan and he saw krishna's footprints in the ground he rolled in the dust and he took the dust all over his body kamsane pradididithu akrura vrindavanathukku chendru krishna bhagavanin paadasuvadigalai paarthu paravasam adaithu adhi vilundu pranda prabhupad writes anybody going to the holy land going to vrindavan that is the way to enter into the holy land that when you first come into vrindavan you should roll in the ground in the dust of the holy water sri lapro bala kurugindra yarella vrindavanathukku selgindrargalo idu dhan vrindavanathil nuraigindra murai vrindavana mannil vilundu purana vendum you may wonder why why we should do that because krishna lord krishna walked there in vrindavan 5000 years ago so the dust of the dam is mixed with the atoms from the lotus feet of lord krishna naam idu edarkku endru kekkala ayyaira vaandugalukku munbu krishna bhagavan andha mannil nadamaadi irukkindra avarudeya andha aanmeega aatral bhakti andha mannil nirayindirukkindrathu so the bodhi is eager to take the dust from the feet of lord krishna take it all over the 
கிருஷ்ண பகவானின் பாதங்கள் பட்ட அந்த தூசுகளை தங்கள் உடல் முழுவதும் பூசிக் கொள்வதில் கத்தர்கள் பேரானந்தம் காட்டுகிறார்கள் So Akrura had come there to Vrindavan and Krishna and Balaram asked him what's wrong why have you come what do you want and Akrura explained that I have to take you to Mathura Kamsa is inviting you your uncle Kamsa wants you to come to Mathura so Krishna and Balaram said yes no problem we will come Ivar Akrura Vrindavanathukku chendru Krishna Balaram eridam புறப்படுவதற்கு தயாரானார்கள் நிச்சயமாக கோபிமார்கள் இதை விரும்பவில்லை the gopi said to akrura that your name is wrong because akrura means one who is not true but actually you're very cruel because you're taking krishna away gopi margal akrura kan kurinargal neengal ungaludaiya perikku poruthamattravar akrura endral koduramattravar aanal neengalo koduramaanavar krishna bhagavane indrinam irundhu முடியவில்லை <laughs> அவர்கள் பேரில் ஏறி புறப்பட்டனர் இடையில் யமுனையில் நின்று அவர்கள் யமுனையில் நீராடினர் அந்த இடம் இன்னும் அக்ரூர கடம் என்று குறிப்பிடப்படுகின்றது But when he went to take his bath, he saw Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram were there in the garden, and they were there. Mahavishnu was there, laying on his Ananta Shesha, and all the great devas were there. All the associates of Lord Vishnu were all there, Nanda and Sunanda, and so many great sages, they were all there, and they were reciting prayers to the Lord. இவ்வாறு கிருஷ்ணரும் பலராமனும் நீராடிவிட்டு மேலே கருத்திற்கு வந்து விட்டனர் அப்பொழுது அக்ரூரரும் நீராட எமனைக்கு சென்றார் அங்கே பகவான் விஷ்ணுவை அவர் கண்டார் அவருடைய சேவகர்கள் நந்தா சுனந்தா போன்றவர்கள் மற்றும் யோகிகள் அனைவரையுமே அங்கே அவர் கண்டார் So Akrura was surprised because he thought Krishna and Balaram had finished their bath and he went back and he saw Krishna and Balaram were there on the chariot. So he was surprised. He came back again to take his bath and he thought that they were there. Krishna and Balaram were there and he went back to the center of the center and he went back to 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 the center. And so Akrura offered his prayers and came back and then he was of course amazed that he'd seen all of this, he'd seen the spiritual world, he'd seen the Supreme Lord. And Akrura was asked by Krishna, Krishna said to Akrura, did you see something wonderful then? Akrura came to the earth and 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 came to the earth. கிருஷ்ண பகவான் அவரிடம் கேட்டார் இந்த ஆன்மீக லோகத்தை எல்லாம் அற்புதமான காட்சி எல்லாம் கண்டீர்களாயிருந்தோ எங்கெல்லாம் அற்புதங்கள் தோன்றுகின்றதோ அந்த அற்புதங்கள் எல்லாம் உங்களுடைய சக்தி 
தங்களை கண்டால் அனைத்துமே கண்டது போன்றதுதான் இவ்வாறு கிருஷ்ண பகவானுக்கு பிரார்த்தனை சமர்ப்பிப்பதை அக்ரூரர் நமது ஆச்சாரியராக வர்ணிக்கப்படுகின்றார் And the next form of bhakti yoga is dashyam. And our acharya in dashyam is Hanuman. Hanuman, who is the great devotee of Lord Ramachandra. Bhakti yen aduttanga nambadhi dashyam. Sevadamma. Dashyam tirkki mika prabramana vargal Hanuman. Lord Ramachandra engaged Hanuman in many nice services. He got Hanuman to do a lot of service, not only fighting in Lanka, but to go to Lanka and find Mother Sita, that was Hanuman's service. Bhagavan Sri Ramar, Anumanai, Kona, Sevai Gali, Kiri Patti Nath, Adhi, La Ilangai Ki Chandra, Bhoor Puri Vadu Mattu Malla, Ilangai Ki Chandra, Annei Sita Avai Vittu Varu Vadu, Potra, Mika Sarandha Sevai Gali Illa Illa, Bhagavan Ramar, Anumanai, Kiri Patti Nath. When Lakshman got hit, by the weapon of indrajit then they sent hanuman to go to himalayan mountains to go to ganga mandana mountain and bring the special herb to revive lakshman and at that time hanuman dropped the whole mountain indrajit and bavari aayudhathinal balaramar thaakapatta poludhe ganga madana malaiki chendru ange sanjeev vere kondu vadarkku rama viran anumanai padintha so hanuman has that mood of sen always the dairy service for the pleasure of lord ramachandra anumanin bhagam enbadu sevai inneramum ramabrani padangali sevai seivadarkku avar thayaraga irundar but hanuman was told to stay here in this world others many others they went right back to the spiritual world with lord ramachandra but lord ramachandra requested hanuman you stay here ராமச்சந்திர பகவானின் மற்ற சகாக்கள் எல்லாம் அவருடன் சேர்ந்து அவருடைய லோகத்திற்கு சென்று விட்டனர் ஆனால் ஸ்ரீ ஹனுமானை மட்டும் இந்த லோகத்திலேயே இருக்கும்படி அவர் பணித்தார் சுக்ரீவா போன்றவர்கள் எல்லாமே ராமச்சந்திரருடன் சென்று விட்டனர் But Hanuman was told, wherever they are reciting the glories of Lord Ramachandra, then you can go to that. Bhagavan Puri na Ramachandra ni trinamanga lekala bhara kudinra do angella ni sallala kendra. So Lord Rama, he made Hanuman a great devotee, a great acharya in the mood of service. Na Sri Ramachandra Hanumanai. நண்பராக்கிருஷ்ணா Krishna said I am speaking this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita to you Arjuna because you are my devotee as well as my friend so you can understand Bhagavan Bhagavad Gita il Arjuna nu kurukindrar inda gyanathai unakku naan upadesikkindren kaaranam nee enadhu bhaktan adhe nerathil enadhu nanban adanal inda gyanathai unnal purindukollamudiyum Of course, Krishna had other friends like in Vrindavan, the cowherd boys, the gopas, people like Sri Dham, Stoka Krishna, and Rishabha, and, and Subal. They were all cowherd boys. They were all very intimate friends of Lord Krishna. Vijay Maha Krishna Bhagavan, the Vrindavan had the matter number of them. Now, Udham Tirtha Subal, Stoka Krishna. நண்பர்களுக்கு 
discovered by the Ted, they have performed pious activities over many lifetimes. Therefore, they were able to be with Krishna and to play with him in the forest of the and then the final type, kind of devotional service is Atmani Vedanam, to surrender everything for the pleasure of the Lord. In the Bhakti Balipurayil, Yudhyana Nilai, Atmani Vedanam, Anaitanyum Bhagavad Gaga, Arpanam Sivadi. We cannot do that very easily. In the Nam, Sulama Maga Sivadi Vedamudiyadi. We have examples of devotees who did Atmani Vedanam. Bali Maharaj surrendered everything for the pleasure of the Lord. And Queen Rukmini, Rukmini, the wife of Lord Krishna, she is also an example of Atmani Vedana. She surrenders, she is ready to give up her life for the service of Krishna. Rukmini Kuda. So these two kinds of devotional services, Sakyam and Atmani Vedanam, very difficult. Without being on the stage of uh, Raganuga Bhakti, it is not possible to perform this kind of devotion. In the Sakyam, Atmani Vedanam, so we cannot just simply become Krishna's friend or surrender everything. That takes a lot of purification over lifetimes. But what we can do is to hear and to chant. And hearing and chanting, that's the roots of the creeper of devotion. So Prabhu, you want to bring that picture over here? So, so this picture, this is a picture, you know, not everybody may understand this picture. Prabhu asked me to do this. Prabhu asked me just to briefly explain this picture here. In the Padate Sruta Maga, Vedaka Mari Prabhu, Amida Kate Bhandar. So here is the spiritual world. And here is the material world. Now, in the spiritual world, on the very top, you have Goloka Vrindavan. You can see Radha and Krishna in the center. And there is also Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performing Sankirtan. So this is Goloka Vrindavan. This is the topmost planet in the spiritual world. And over here, all these planets, these are all the Vaikuntha planets. So in the Vaikuntha planets, Lord is here in his four-armed form. In the Vaikuntha Lodangani, Bhagavan, Nandu Karanga Rudan, Rikindra. And all the devotees, all the inhabitants in Vaikuntha, they are also four armed forms. In the Vaikuntha Vasigal, Anitya Bhaktaragadume, Nandu Karanga Rikundi Rikindra. But in Goloka, it's Krishna in two armed forms, Sham Sundar Krishna. And in Goloka, Rikindra Krishna, Yiri Karanga Rikunda, Shama Sundara Krishna. Difference there between Goloka Vrindavan and Vaikuntha. And here, this is the Brahma Joyti. 
இவை இரண்டுக்கு மத்தியில் இந்த பிரம்மஜோதி இருக்கின்றது பிரம்மஜோதி என்பது கிருஷ்ண பகவானின் உடலிலிருந்து வெளியாகின்ற பிரகாசம் ஆன்மீகமானது ஏனென்றால் விஷ்ணு அங்கே இருக்கின்றார் இந்த விஷ்ணுவின் உடலிலிருந்து பல குமிழிகள் தோன்றுகின்றன இந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தின் கீழே கார்போதக கடல் இருக்கின்றது இந்த நாவிகமலத்திலிருந்து அந்த தாமரை உருவாகி அங்கே பிரம்மதேவன் பிரகின்றார் இந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தின் ஆக கீழே பாதாள லோகங்கள் மற்றும் யமராஜுடைய இருப்பிடம் எல்லாம் இருக்கின்றது அந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தின் ஆக மேலே நான்கு லோகங்கள் ஜனலோகா தப்பலோகா சத்தியலோகா இந்த பிரபஞ்சத்தின் மத்தியில் ஏழாவது லோகமாக அதன் கீழே ஏழு லோகங்கள் உள்ளன இங்கு இதெல்லாம் நரக லோகங்கள் அக கீழே நரக லோகங்கள் உள்ளன இந்த ஆன்மீக லோகத்திற்கு கீழே பிரம்மஜோதிக்கு சற்று மேல் சிவலோகம் இருக்கின்றார் இதுதான் ஏறக்குறைய அந்த இடங்களின் அமைப்பிடம் இதுதான் பிரபஞ்சத்தின் ஒரு <laughs> இங்கு மலேசியாவில் சிவபக்தர்கள் பலர் இருக்கின்றார்கள் இவர்களுடைய நிலை என்ன அங்கே செல்வார்களா அல்லது மீண்டும் இங்கே வருவார்களா அல்லது மேலே செல்வார்களா இது அவர்கள் என்ன பாவனையில் சிவபெருமானை வழிபடுகிறார்கள் என்பதை பொறுத்தது சில பௌதீக லாபத்திற்காக சிவபெருமானை வழிபடுவார்கள் அவர்கள் பௌதிக லோகத்திலேயே இருப்பார்கள் 
Yeah, there are pure devotees who worship Lord Shiva, just like Sanatana Goswami. He was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, but he was also a devotee of Krishna. So, you know, as devotees, we can worship Lord Shiva, go through his parampara, like the Vishnu Swami parampara, connects to Lord Shiva. And so it's a Vaishnava Sampradaya. So you can go to the spiritual world. Sada Shiva is there in the spiritual world. But people worship Lord Shiva if they just simply want impersonal liberation, they desire to merge and become one, then they'll go to the Brahma Jyoti. And other people who just simply have material desires, they stay in the material world. We see different demons who worship Lord Shiva, like Vrikasura, he wanted to get the benediction Whoever had he touched and head would fall off. So the Lord came in the form of a Brahman and he got Vrikasura to touch his own head. So his own head fell off. And then there was another demon, Bana. Bana Sura was the son of Bali Maharaj. Actually, Bali Maharaj had a hundred sons, and Bana was the oldest one. And he was very devoted to Lord Shiva, so he got 1,000 arms. But he became very proud because he had 1,000 arms. He was so strong. He was so proud. He became very proud. Finally, the Lord came and cut off his arms. But he left them with four arms. And he told them that he could stay with Lord Shiva and he could have eternal, he could just remain an associate with Lord Shiva. அதன் <laughs> So there are all different varieties of devotees, but generally the devotees of Lord Shiva, they want material desires or they want liberation. The devotees of Lord Shiva who want pure devotion are very great. Yes. 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 Yes.
Mr. Shikro, uh, and it's just you know, mind-boggling how this uh, uh, devas are functioning. Uh, could you just uh, give me a brief link on that? For what it can be, well, demigods are functioning for each of the different <coughs> organs which we have in our body, every different sense, of, every different sense, there's a demigod. Just like for hearing, there's some demigod, and then for the sense of taste, there's a demigod, and then for the power of digestion, there's demigods. Everything, every different action and feeling, there's some demigods involved. All the different organs, the, the, the breathing of our body, there's some demigod involved, and then the, the, the sense of smell, and all, all these different actions which we go through with our bodies, which happen, different functions which are taking place in our body. There's some demigod controlling it. The flickering of our eyes, there's some demigod controlling it. And we know there's also God of wealth. You know, you've got people like Kuvera, he's the treasurer of the demigods. And then you've got Lakshmi also, she's the goddess of fortune. So there's a lot of different activities going on. Everybody's got their own different responsibilities. You've got uh, so many different types of living entities and different demigods have to be in charge for all these different functions which go on. So, of course, 330 million, it seems like an awful lot, but, you know, when you actually start looking at all the different things which are going on, which are taking place within our body, it's inconceivable how many different things are happening. <laughs> So the more closely you look, the more you find details. Just like scientists start looking at cells and they come to things like DNA, and RNA, and they see it's more complex than even a city. One cell is more complex than a city. So we only, we only see the surface, we don't look very close. We don't know everything which is going on.
그리고 세토구 스와미 아우르 아 스와미 아우르인데 오흠르인데 멜리 바들란 소나데 아우르네 아우르인데 아우르 인데 완다 인데 마우디 온다 우리 뿌리치고 아우르 이렇게 한다 나만 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 Sri Lanka Sukadeva Swami was reluctant to come out from his mother's womb, fearing the dangerous material environment. So even such a Mahatma like Sukadeva Goswami had that fear. What is the end of ourselves? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, we weren't blessed like Sukadeva Goswami. Sukadeva Goswami. was the son of Vyasadeva. So Srila Vyasadeva was speaking Srimad Bhagavad-gita. It's also something said, Lord Krishna personally came there and told Sukadeva Goswami, you know, ஒரு <laughs> நாம் எல்லாம் சுகதேவ கோஸ்வாமியிடம் அடைக்கலம் பெற வேண்டும் அவர் தான் இந்த ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதத்தை கூறியிருக்கின்றார் அதனால் நாம் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதத்திடம் அடைக்கலம் பெற வேண்டும் சுகதேவ கோஸ்வாமி ஹேட் தி ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதம் தோ ஹேட் நோ ஃபியர் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் எனர்ஜி எனி மோர் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதத்தை கேட்டதனால் சுகதேவ கோஸ்வாமிக்கு பௌதீக சம்பந்தமான எந்த பயமும் இல்லை Sukadeva Goswami was Atma Rama. He was taking pleasure in the self. He was not looking for pleasure in the material world. Sukadeva Goswami, Atma Rama Raga, Pilegina, Adavati, Tannulle, Imbatai Kanbava, Pilil, Yada Ulegilala. So when we become Atma Rama, then we won't have to fear. எப்பொழுது நாம் ஆத்ம ராமராக நிலை பெறுகின்றோமோ இந்த பௌதிக உலகத்தை பற்றி நாம் அஞ்ச தேவையில்லை அதனால் ஆன்மீக தன்னுணர்வு பெற்ற ஆத்ம ராமராக ஆத்ம ராமராக நாம் உருவாக வேண்டும் பாகவதத்தை கேளுங்கள் பாதுகாப்பாக <laughs> புதன்கிழமை வந்து 
இஸ் புத்திரி கொண்டு நம்ம நாட்டா இஸ் கிரேட் சேவையா சேவை அறிவிக்கக்கூடிய மையத்தில் வந்து ப்ரோக்ராம் இருக்கிறது மாலை வியாழக்கிழமை மாலை அவஸ்தான் நாம கட்டா நந்தகோரங்கா பிரபுவுடைய தலைமை கணக்கில் இருக்கிற அந்த மையத்தில் வந்து நிகழ்ச்சி இருக்கின்றது இதுதான் மகாராஷ்டிரிய வரக்கூடிய ப்ரோக்ராம் வெள்ளிக்கிழமை வந்து மகாராஜ் புறப்பட்டு அதற்கு பிற்பாடு முன்னாக்கார உதயத்தா போகிருக்கின்றார் இதற்கு இடையிலே வந்து வேறென்ன மாற்றங்கள் இருந்தால் நாம் ஒரு பரிமாறிக்கொள்கிறோம் பக்தர்கள் யாருக்கு வந்து சேவைகள் செய்வதற்கு விருப்பம் இருந்தால் அதாவது வந்து டிரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் கூட நீங்கள் வந்து அவர்களுடைய நிர்வாகத்தை தொடர்ந்து கொள்ளலாம் ஒன்று நான் சொல்லு வரக்கூடிய வியாழக்கிழமை மாலை பத்து மணிக்கு ஈஸ்வரஸ் பக்தி ராகஸ்வாமி மகாராஜ் வந்து பிரிஷாக்கு வந்து வருகின்றார் மாத்திர வந்து வருகின்றார் வெள்ளிக்கிழமை ஆறு மணிக்கு மகாராஜ் வந்து நம்மளுடைய நிபோக்தவாள் இருக்கக்கூடிய கோஷாலைக்கு செல்ல இருக்கின்றார் 